You guys are not gonna believe how many groceries I got today for under $200. This haul was crazy and I wanna show you all of the awesome deals that I got, so let's get into it. Okay, so recently I was watching my good friend Mindy over at the channel See Mindy Mom and she was talking about how we can't forget our local grocery stores like our Kroger or Publix or in my case Hy-Vee and how we should definitely take a look at their ads every week and see what they have on sale. Well, I haven't done that recently because groceries have been so insane. <laughs> that I've mostly been shopping at Walmart because I just assumed that was the best price. Well, based on what she said in her video, I figured, well, this weekend, I'll take a look at the ad and see what they have on sale. Oh my gosh, you guys, they had so much awesome stuff on sale, and I am talking way cheaper prices than Walmart. So here's my encouragement to you to check on your local grocery store and see what awesome deals they are having this week. But today I'm gonna walk you through my process of how I decided what to get. We're also gonna go into the store and I'm gonna show you all of the deals there and then I have an awesome haul for you. And then at the very end, I'll show you exactly how much I spent and how much I saved. You're not gonna believe this, let's go. Okay, so you know if I'm going into a grocery store and I'm gonna scope out specific deals that I need to make a list because if I don't have a list it's just gonna be mass chaos and then I'm gonna forget something and I'm gonna be irritated <laughs> with myself so I'm most excited about these 99 cent deals so they do have eggs for 99 cents peanut butter is also a really good deal they also have um, like the chunky soups on sale for 99 cents which is a really good price there's a limit two on those I may pick up some oyster crackers as well they have mac and cheese three for 99 cents the Hy-Vee brand that's like, I feel like that's super cheap. Cream cheese, 99 cents. Fall baking, we have to think about. They have um, chocolate chips or baking chips. Limit two, but 99 cents is an awesome price. Okay, they also have boneless skinless chicken breasts for $1.88 a pound. I honestly have not seen that low of a price on boneless skinless chicken breast for like years at this point, <laughs> I would say. I just did a video on grocery inflation from 2020 to 2023. So I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it yet. But I mean, chicken, I would say still is pretty much one of the most economical protein, you know, animal proteins that you can buy at the grocery store. Um, but still, that's a really awesome price. So I'm definitely gonna get some of that. Flashback. Okay, so I have a uh, try on box <laughs> from Warby Parker that I need to try on today because I need to send it back. I wanna thank Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. I've been working with them for a long time here on my channel and I love working with them because you guys know I love having different glasses as fashion accessories. And also, since we're talking about the price of groceries, uh, Warby Parker makes it super affordable to get good quality, stylish glasses all from the comfort of your own home. They are so much cheaper than buying them <laughs> at the eye doctor. And I actually just went and got my prescription updated, so it's time for me to maybe get a new pair. Okay, this frame is called the Hallie, and I do like it, very stylish, and they fit well too. They have wide widths, which is important to me because for some reason I have a big head and I need a wide width glass, glasses, pair of glasses. This is the uh, Blakely. I really like these as well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick. This one is the rosy. These might be a little big, not sure. These were the ones that I was eyeing. They're called the Tony. Super comfy. I like the color as well. And then these are the Tatum. These are a little bit much for me, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I don't know, which pair do you guys like? I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards one of these. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. They have eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams, and you can also shop with them online or in stores. The best part is their glasses start at just $95, including prescription lenses. And if you decide to purchase two or more pairs of prescription eyeglasses or sunglasses, you can actually get 15% off. Make sure you also download the Warby Parker app so you can use their virtual try-on feature to find out which glasses you want in your home try on. If you guys want to try out Warby Parker, I highly, highly recommend them. They also have prescription sunglasses and contact lenses too. Basically everything you need. You can go to warbyparker.com slash Jen to get your free home try on, get a box shipped right to your door, try on all your glasses, ask your friends and family, see which ones they like the best. And thank you again to Warby Parker for supporting me here on my channel. End of flashback. There's also peaches for $1.88 a pound. Let's see if that's cheaper than Walmart. One of the things that I like to do is just 
price compare because sometimes you, you know, even if it's on sale at your local sort of like brand name grocery store, you may not be getting that great of a deal. You just never know. Okay, yeah, so that may not be that good of a deal because they're actually cheaper at Walmart. But the Jack's Thin Crust Frozen Pizza, I am gonna stock up on some of those because I do frequently buy them at Walmart and they're actually more expensive at Walmart. And then they have, so Pepsi um, bottles, four for $2.99 each. Also the beans, okay, so two for 98 cents cans of beans. I want to say that's definitely at least a little bit cheaper than Walmart is. Yeah, so the great value beans are 78 cents at Walmart, so that's definitely a savings. Okay, so some of the things I was looking um, at this page of the ad for was the popcorn shrimp two for six. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna get that today, but they do have frozen waffles three for five. Different grocery stores have different rules. I know that at Hy-Vee, for most things, unless it specifies, you don't have to buy three of that item to be able to get the price on just one or two. I probably won't buy three packages, but I might buy one. They've also got green peppers for 75 cents each. That is cheaper than Walmart, so I may pick up some of those. Oh, okay, potatoes are another one. So $2.99 for a five pound bag of potatoes. I know the last time I bought potatoes at Walmart, that same five pound bag was almost $5, so I'm definitely going to pick those up. They've also got the Hy-Vee brand cheese, five for $10, which I believe is just a tad cheaper than Walmart. I wanna say the cheese at Walmart for like the um, eight ounce blocks is 208 maybe or something like that. So I'm definitely gonna stock up on that. I always like to have shredded cheese on hand anyway, just for whatever we might need it for. Okay, so in the pantry section, they have canned broth, three for $3. I just personally don't think that buying canned or boxed broth is a good use of funds at the grocery store. Obviously, it's your choice. I personally like to keep the Knorr chicken bouillon powder on hand. You can buy it really inexpensively and it will make probably cups and or quarts and or gallons of broth for like a fraction of the price that you're gonna pay for like individual cans. And the thing I like about it also is that to me it's more flavorful so it makes my recipes turn out better. It's probably the MSG, you know, whatever. Um, but then also you don't have to take up space in your pantry storing boxes and boxes of broth and stock. Okay, so they have the Kinder's barbecue sauce. Um, for buy one get one free so I might actually get some of that just because um, I don't think I have a backup of barbecue sauce in the pantry and I always like to keep that on hand okay and then hy has a fuel saver so basically if you purchase certain things you can get a certain number of cents off for every gallon of gas that you purchase either at hy gas um, or you can also use it at Casey's so it says if you spend $15 in Kraft Heinz products, then you get 25 cents off per gallon. Um, I could probably stock up on some of these things. So they have bacon, Kraft singles. Oh, see their um, mac and cheese, four for five. So I don't know, I'll, I'll, let me think about that. So if I get um, a block of Velveeta, which I don't really use Velveeta frequently, but I feel like going into the holidays, especially there are certain things that I like to have it on hand for, mac and cheese and things like that. So if I do one, um, pack of Velveeta, two bottles of ketchup, and a, a pack of bacon, I can get 25 cents on my fuel saver, so I'll probably do that. Okay, so the only thing that caught my eye on this Frozen page was these Wow Bao, and these are not necessarily on sale, they're $5.99 a package, but my daughter Kira really likes um, like steamed dumplings and things like that, and so that's another thing I feel like, especially like with the smaller, you know, local grocery stores, is sometimes you can find some different foods that you might not find at like your local Walmart or Aldi. Um, so even though those aren't, those aren't probably necessarily on sale, I may pick up a package or two of those. I did see that they had the Atkins frozen dinners, buy two, get one free. Um, I might see if they have the Atkins omelets because I'm not like super big on their frozen dinners, but if they have the frozen omelets, buy two, get one free, I'll probably pick those up. The I like the frozen omelets for breakfast. I get them all the time. You guys always see those in like my what I eat in a day, but they're kind of hard for me to find around here. Like I can't necessarily find them obviously at Aldi and I can hardly ever find them at Walmart. So I might pick some of those up as well. They do have pork rinds on sale, two for seven. I don't need any of those right now, but if I did, I would probably pick some of those up as well. 
I saw also that they have the Faye yogurt 10 for 10, so I may get some of that. Okay, and then the local weekly coupons that Hy-Vee has are usually really awesome. So right now they've got either a seasoning, uh, gravy, or dip mix for a quarter. So I've already loaded that to my Fuel Saver account. And then I also noticed they have a coupon for toaster strudels for $1.77. Um, I'll probably get some of those for Connor. Okay, so this is what I was thinking that they had a coupon for. So they have a Kraft, Kraft mac and cheese, a five pack on sale for $3.88. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna go with because that is a really good deal for the brand name. I know we had a conversation on one of my previous videos about whether you guys go always with like the Kraft um, mac and cheese or the off brand. And a lot of you told me that specifically for mac and cheese, you don't go with the generic. You like <laughs> the brand name stuff because you can tell the difference. Um, and then this is also probably a really good price, although it may not be that much cheaper than Walmart, but probably a little bit. 49 cents for eight ounces of sour cream. That's, I'm gonna pick that up for sure. All right, so let's go to the store and see what we can find. The only thing I'm a little bit nervous about is that this sale runs through today and it's already Sunday afternoon. So I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of afraid that some of this stuff is gonna be picked over, but we'll see when we get there. All right, so first up, we're gonna grab our potatoes for $2.98, which is an awesome deal. Another thing I always do is I just write out my list in sections of the store so it's easier for me to shop. So sometimes Hy-Vee will do the work for you and they'll say like, okay, our bell peppers are 75 cents, you're saving 58 cents, um, as opposed to purchasing them at Fairway. But anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and get four of these. I'm thinking I might do like stuffed peppers or something like that, that sounds good. Okay, so I'm not sure how I missed this in the ad, but green beans are actually on sale, three for 99 cents. So it's limit six, so I'm gonna go ahead and get six cans. Um, that's super cheap for canned green beans, and honestly, my family actually prefers canned green beans over any other kind, go figure. So why not stock up when it's super cheap? Okay, so here are the oyster crackers that we saw for 99 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. The original price on these is actually $2.99, so this is definitely a significant savings. Have you guys tried the Wendy's chili yet? I personally have not, um, but let me know if you have and if you like it. I'm honestly surprised that stuff isn't as picked over as I thought it would be. So, okay, so they have hy -Vee kidney or chili style beans, two for 98 cents. So we've already verified that this is cheaper than Walmart, but I don't know if there's a limit on these, like it doesn't say. I think I'll probably just go ahead and get maybe two of the chili style beans and two of the kidney beans. Okay, so the hy V chunky soup is definitely picked over. It looks like they're out of quite a bit of it. Um, Adam is really the one that eats this. So I'm gonna see, maybe I'll do one of the chicken corn chowder and one of the clam chowder. He likes clam chowder. Okay, so for my special coupon on the hy -Vee gravy mix, I believe this is 25 cents. I'm just gonna do the country sausage gravy mix. Adam really likes biscuits and gravy, so we'll use this. I'm actually kind of surprised they had some of the five packs of mac and cheese left because in my experience, this is something that goes pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm looking for the two 20 ounce bottles of ketchup for a fuel saver deal. We're also gonna grab our Velveeta for the fuel saver deal. So the Kinder's Barbecue, $5.99, buy one, get one free, which actually makes them less than $3 each. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get two. We'll do the mild and the hickory brown sugar. I'm just wondering if no one knew about this sale because I'm very shocked that all of this stuff is still in stock. We're gonna grab these 99 cent jars of peanut butter. The baking chips are kind of picked over, but they're limit to, I can always always use semi-sweet chocolate chips. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get two bags of these. I think they had, what? I don't know, they must've had some different kinds like vanilla and butterscotch, but that's fine. I'll get the semi-sweet. So I totally missed it in the ad, but I just saw in an end cap they had, um, tortilla chips for 99 cents, which is 
a huge deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those because we can always use them. Are you guys ready for Halloween? It's coming, coming very soon. Okay, so here is our 49 cent sour cream. While I'm here, I think I'm gonna grab some good cottage cheese because Walmart has not been having what I've needed lately. And then 99 cent cream cheese. I don't know, there doesn't seem to be a limit on this either. So I'm gonna grab five, there's plenty here. Okay, so I was actually very impressed with the staff here because they were out of the $1.88 chicken breast like I showed you guys, but they actually repriced this for me. I just asked them at the meat counter. I was like, hey, do you guys have any more of the $1.88 chicken? And he was like, well, all the packages are gone, but if you just grab some of these, I'll reprice them for you. So I thought that was super nice. I grabbed four of them. Um, I also got our bacon. Um, this is not on sale, but it's hard for me to find smoked Swiss cheese, so I'm grabbing some of this. And then I also picked up a couple of the Jello pudding. Um, my kids like to take these in their lunch, and they're only $2.62 here this week. So for the five for $10 cheese, I just went ahead and got three blocks and then two bags of shredded. If I'm not sure what I need, I'll always err on the side of getting more blocks because that obviously I can always shred them myself. And then over here is our waffles that we want to grab. So I think, like I said, I'm just going to get one package. I don't have a ton of room in my freezer right now. And then we also need to grab our um, coupon item for the toaster strudels. Uh, I think it's so, okay. So they have raspberry, cinnamon roll, straw. I think I'm just gonna go with the strawberry. I think that's probably the, the safest one. Okay, so I told you guys if they had the omelets on sale, I was gonna get those. I don't think they're on sale, but they do have the scrambles on sale. Buy two, get one, th get one free. So I think I'm just gonna get three of these. Okay, so I was afraid that the Jack's Thin Crust Pizza was gonna be picked over. Why? Because it's so freaking awesome. <laughs> Um, I'm just, just probably gonna grab three or four. Okay, here's the the wow bow that we spoke about. So they've got teriyaki chicken and barbecue pork, and then they've got Mongolian beef. I don't know, Kira's not huge on beef, so I think I'm just gonna grab these two. And then the Faye yogurt is over here, kind of like in this health section, or at least it used to be. Where's it at? Okay, well, I stand corrected. Someone's looking at me filming myself. Okay, so I can't find the Faye yogurt, so I'm just gonna skip that. Um, it's not a huge deal anyway. I it, They actually have it on sale very frequently, so not a huge deal. All right, so they've got Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi for $9.99. Um, they even have it on here, like the Walmart brand, or Walmart brand. Walmart is more expensive, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. Okay, so I just checked out, put all my groceries in my car, and the only thing that I couldn't find on my list was the Faye yogurt, which is honestly pretty good. I wanna say, I'm gonna have to look at my receipt when I get home, but I wanna say I got all of this stuff for under 200 bucks, um, which is honestly pretty good with how much I got, so these deals were A plus today. All right, so you guys are not gonna believe this, but my total today for all of this food was just $188. I am not even kidding you. And actually I saved even more than that because I got a fuel saver, but we'll talk about that at the end. All right. So chicken breast, I did go ahead and stock up on this. What I'm going to do is go ahead and vacuum seal this and put it in my freezer. But obviously this was $1.88 a pound, which is a huge deal. So I ended up getting what all of these are about two pounds. So about eight pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast that will go in my freezer and we actually just got a half of a cow so we will be stocked up on meat for a while. I also have an order from Good Chop coming tomorrow for some seafood so I shouldn't have to buy any type of meat at the grocery store for the next foreseeable future. Of course potatoes, these were an awesome deal. I had to snatch that up, obviously cheaper than Walmart. The cream cheese I got for 99 cents a box and a bonus this doesn't expire until march so i can use this well into the holiday season for holiday baking i did get some of the oscar meyer thick cut bacon like i said we will be using that this week for probably blts some eggs for 99 cents two of the jello um packed uh, puddings and jello so this is chocolate and vanilla swirl sugar free and this one is strawberry sugar free my 49 cent sour cream, along with a couple of cottage cheeses. Whenever I order groceries from Walmart, they always seem to be out of the cottage cheese that I want. I don't know what the deal is. So I got one good culture. And then this is probably honestly my favorite. It's the AE Dairy 
old fashioned four percent, and then my five for ten dollar cheeses, sharp cheddar shredded, mozzarella shredded, pepper jack block, extra sharp cheddar block, and then I saw this and I thought Adam would like it. This is horseradish cheese. He really likes horseradish, so I thought he would like that. Toaster strudels, Connor will love those, and then we got our Atkins um, low carb breakfast. This is the farmhouse style sausage scramble. I don't know what it is, you guys. I actually love like frozen breakfast stuff, like egg products. I don't know, maybe it's like my trash palette speaking, but I just find them super convenient to use, especially during the work week. I got the Wow Bao teriyaki chicken and the Chinese style barbecue pork. Again, those were not on sale. So most of the things obviously that I got in this haul were on sale, but some of them were not. So I'm pretty obviously impressed with what I was able to get. Um, I got the five pack of Kraft Mac and Cheese. This was, I believe, $3.88 with that coupon. I also got this um, crema, Mexican style crema sour cream. I can't get this at Walmart, so I have to get it at Hy-Vee. That was not on sale either. I got my four green bell peppers, some kale that I'm going to use for a kale salad this week. I also picked up these onion bagels. These were on sale. I hadn't originally planned to get them, but I am going to make some breakfast sandwiches with them for Adam this week. So grab those 99 cent tortilla chips. Love that. This um, medium Tostitos restaurant style salsa is also my favorite jarred salsa. And this was also on sale, I believe for less than $3. So that's pretty good. Of course, my 25 cent country gravy mix packet. Um, I wanted to get the regular Velveeta, but they did not have any left in stock. That was the one thing that was picked over and I couldn't find. I just decided to get the white Velveeta, the queso blanco. So we'll find something to do with that. Actually, there's a recipe on the back of here for green chili enchiladas. Sir, you've already eaten dinner. So I don't know why you're over here, but it's like, can I have food? <laughs> um, my 99 cent oyster crackers. All of this cheese was not on sale, but I haven't been able to find it at Walmart lately. Kira really likes the extra sharp um, cheddar cheese from Cracker Barrel, so I got two packages of that. And then Adam really likes this smoked st string cheese. In fact, you can see that my family already broke into it when I got home. This in and of itself was almost $10, which I know is really expensive, but I feel like because I got so many things on sale, it was like, well, I'll just go ahead and splurge on that. Um, the spaghetti, the hy spaghetti um, brand pasta was 99 cents a box. I don't think that's like a huge sale, but I wanted to go ahead and get it while I was there because I don't have any here at home. I got the multi-grain waffles for Connor, two pounds of strawberries. I believe these were $8.99. Um, I got some cold brew coffee for me for the week. This is the Wide Awake Coffee Company Espresso Blend Cold Brew. And then I got my Kinders, buy one, get one free. Um, a bunch of beans, so two cans of light red kidney beans, two cans of dark red kidney beans, two cans of chili style beans. So those will last us a little while for chili this fall. Two bags of the semi-sweet chocolate chips, four of the Jack's original thin crust pizzas. I got one cheese, one meat lovers, one sausage, and one sausage and pepperoni. I did price these as compared to Walmart and they were cheaper. So that's one thing that I really like about having all of these grocery apps on my phone is that I can quickly see what is the deal at Hy-Vee versus Walmart and it just makes my savings uh, and shopping a lot quicker. I got the two uh, bottles of Heinz ketchup, the soup for Adam, and then six cans of the cut green beans, two cans of, or two cans, um, two jars, I guess, of peanut butter. And then this was a really good price. You guys, I remember when 12 packs of soda used to be able to get them for $2.50 each. I can remember like in college, <laughs> I know this is a long time ago now, but like when I was in college, I remember going to Hy-Vee and being able to get four 12 packs for 10 bucks. Not anymore. Um, now it is a great deal to get a 24 pack for 10 bucks. So I got that. We like the Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. So that is everything that I got for my groceries this week for $188. But wait, there's more. Okay, so do you remember I told you guys about the fuel saver at Hy-Vee? So how that works is that basically depending on what you buy, you can get a number of cents off per gallon of gas the next time you get gas at either Hy-Vee or Casey's. So today I got a total of $1.81 
per gallon off on gas, which means that the next time I get gas, I will be able to redeem $36.20, which means that technically today, if I subtract that savings, I got all of these groceries for $152.11, which is nuts, right? So here is my encouragement to you to go check out your local grocery store and see what is in the ad this week, especially one thing to definitely check out is the front and the back page of the ad. That's where the best deals are gonna be. That doesn't mean that there aren't gonna be great deals in the middle too. Obviously, I found tons of good deals this week. Obviously, use your apps to check prices at different stores. But anyway, I wanna know in the comments below, what is your local grocery store? Like, do you guys have Publix? Do you have Hy-Vee? Do you have Price Chopper? I think of that when I'm in Missouri, Price Chopper. <laughs> Do you have Winco? Um, I personally really like Publix. Whenever I am in a city traveling for work that has a Publix, I love going there. I think it's just such a great grocery store. But I would love to know in the comments below, what is your local grocery store chain. Don't forget to check out Warby Parker. You can go to the link in the description box or warbyparker.com slash Jen to get your free home try on. If you need eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, or eye exams, they have everything. And if you guys want to see my latest meal prep video, you can click on the screen right here. I'll see you next time. And thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.